This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Okay, I'm going to start the meeting. Rules of Government Relations for May 2nd. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for March 9th. That's what you said. Second. You have the minutes for March 2nd already. Right? Mm -hmm. No, I was seconding your motion. I know, but I mean, we have the March 2nd. Yes. March 9th. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Please send those to Barbara. Mm -hmm. There's no mayor here. Public speech is not here. I am going to jump to the charter and then get to the council rule. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to go to 210. Now, Barbara and I met with the city attorney. And what you see here in yellow are the changes he suggested. I had a version of this that did not have my original things, but to refresh our memories, I don't know if you were here, Tom, on the night, we decided to stay with 45 days. Mm -hmm because Councillors Denham and Councillor Gomez both felt that 60 days might give too much time for someone to find a reason to not appoint somebody. Can I go ahead? Wording that better? Please do. Um, it's not about trying to, you know, we have enough days to find something to read. The only problem that we have is to read and in the 45 days, you, you cannot find something why uh, 15 extra days will change that. So in 45 days, we'll plan of that, especially with the change of the, the date of being effective, will change that. Which is what the yellow thing does. Yeah. And this is for the council review of certain points. Yes. Right, and we need Correct. to remember, our primary mission is to reject that. Because if you don't do anything 45 days later, it's in. Mm -hmm. So what um the city attorney words in yellow we first received mm -hmm. was first received by the council at a regularly scheduled meeting at a regularly scheduled meeting of the city council that's a redundant i'm going to remove that i don't know why that was, should have been removed um i'm sorry can i just have to clarify something you said but i just want to make sure i understand so you said our primary duty as a council is to reject within the 45 days, or is it to affirm? Well, well we, it's to affirm, but okay. the reason there's 45 days there, if we do nothing, just mm -hmm. to be clear, the appointment is done. Right. Unless we first reject it. Mm -hmm. So if we put 60 days in, we're giving ourselves more time, right. and in my mind, more time to reject. Mm -hmm. And, and, then, and we used to reject it because that's the way the, the charter is mm -hmm. created. Mm -hmm. What we can't do is what like the Senate does, where we just hold up an appointment indefinitely for mm -hmm. years. And to avoid that, it does so that's that's 45 days. Yeah. And the reason we said first received by a council was because when Barbara gets an appointment, she stamps it, and that's where it, the timing begins. Mm -hmm. So let's say there's no meeting in June. The day after a meeting, she gets an appointment. Now there's 30 days before it gets to the council. Then it's sent to committee, and that committee has to meet, or we have to schedule a special meeting, meeting if we want to mm -hmm. reject somebody. Mm -hmm. And it can happen, it happened very seldom. So what this does is, if we got that appointment the day after a meeting, it doesn't start the clock until it's sent to committee on the July meeting. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. totally. So the primary change here is to give Summer more time for us to right. evaluate. That makes sense. But the other thing I said was 45 days was changed from 30 in 2010 at that review. 45 days has been working fine. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't see 60 as being necessary myself. So that's where we were at. The, um, the, the word presented should have said received here. This is an older version and I don't know what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. Following the meeting at which the appointment was that's what it should say. And I will make sure that the right version is sent to the full council. I don't know how to color and this is a go over docs. See where the A go on the line, go that go across, go over, oh. over, go to your right, the other way. Go. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here. Right there. That's color. Yes, but you want this highlight. Is highlight. Okay, highlight. Yeah. Good. Um, anyway, and the, the city attorney wanted to change must to shall because that's that's common in all the charter. So he asked that be changed. So this is simple, and I'd like to send it to the full council for review. I make a motion to send Charter 210 as amended to the full council for review. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. President Gomez, I'm going to set a public hearing for May 17th for these two things tomorrow. Okay. And I'm going to put them into the email so people get them. I'm going to ask Barbara to put them on the website. And they'll be the clean versions. Okay. okay. Um, I'll send to the full council both versions, the version of the edits and then a version, the clean version. But on the website, they'll be posted and then they'll be in the packet for the next meeting. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is this. Um, I wish I could get rid of this. I don't, do you know how to get rid of the review stuff uh, in Google Docs? Like I, once it's been accepted or whatever? Accepted. So go over to it. Where? Over, no, go down. Like Click on one, right there. See the check mark? I have to do all of these? Yeah, you have to do all of those if you're approving them. Well, yeah, I just, this, this, the version I have, the Microsoft Word version, I can get rid of all these. And Barbara's actually put up, done a clean draft. Mm -hmm. But if you look at her, we'll get, get this, you know, if you don't want, this basically tells us what we've done. Now, all the pink lettering is the city attorney's request for language changes. And we had a meeting with him, Barbara and I, and these are all pretty much just language changes. So if I do this, will I get rid of this bar, this box? What box? I, I want to move on, oh, there's more. There may be a lot of these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't think there was, but yeah, there is. <laughs> Anyway, just so you know, yellow is my, is the original comments, pink. Oh, now they're gone. Ah! I'm going to go back. The other way. Oh, that's forward, I think. Or no, three. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right, so all the pink is his word. So he wanted to use mayoral occurs. He wanted to say mayoral election. The office of the mayor shall be temporary filled in Professor 3 9. So just to review, this is about the first and third year. The first and third year. As Barbara put it here, a special election has to be held. City Council President serves as mayor for the town. Okay. Any questions on this? Again, this is the city attorney's language. Um, in the two months immediately prior, I had before, before, <laughs> previously I used the word before, immediately prior to regular municipal VA change that. Okay. 
the way I'll explain this to the council is number one, to fill is to try to make it possible to fill a vacancy without having too many elections, number one. Number two, to make sure that the president of the council is and, and the role of the president of the council is fully defined in this charter. Um, this one here, he just changed some language here. Remember, we, we did this with the is filled, he took out the word vacancy, is unable or unwilling to serve. Remember, that's something we discussed. Um, city shall elect by majority vote somebody in the council to fill the, um, and remember why we said that was because, please correct me if I'm wrong when I'm trying to remember all these things, was because we wanted to make sure that maybe a president who has got a full-time job can't act as mayor. And that's the vice president serving, and he changed again. The paint is his language. The second or fourth year, as acting mayor until the next regular municipal election. So the beginning of the second mayor mayor's term is in January of the second year. There's no special election. There's a municipal election that November, like this November, mm -hmm. and we would elect a mayor who would be sworn in immediately following the election. But the president of the council would be mayor for those nine months, which confirms back, as I recall, the original charter had nine months in there for that. Please interrupt me if I'm not recalling this correctly. They can take the as provided for in Article 2, Section 211. You know, remember the Billy Lynch vacancy, that's what that refers to. Right. Moving on. He added this language. He, he really did a good job of adding clarifying language. Use a conjunction. You can't put candidate for re-election mm -hmm. um, if you're the acting mayor. Just like our new appointments to the school committee cannot put candidate for re-election. Right. He changed will to shall here which is consistent with charter language. The word shall is used a lot. Okay, you change that, something better. There's something I wanted to, Remember this here, where it says you have to, Article 3, Section 3, 1 says the mayor must not have another job, basically. Mm -hmm. But this would mean if you're the president of the council and you feel like you can do it, but you don't want to quit your other job because you're not going to run for the election. Okay? So that says you can have it? This says it, you, under this subject, shall not be shall subject not. to that. Okay. So you're not subject to that rule in the charter. Mm -hmm. if you're the mayor. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready to move this forward because I think the city attorney's approved it. The mayor's approved it. What do you all think? You okay, Omar? Tom? Makes sense. We've worked on it a long time. Uh, both of these Barbara has already done legislative wording. The legislative wording is totally different than this. So when it goes to the legislature, it says an act, you know. Mm. So I'll put that into the, give the counselors that too. When we vote on it, we vote on the charter changes as, as presented in legislative form. 
the reason is that's what's going to the right. Okay. There. So all set. I make a motion that we send to the full council a new charter section. It's not an amended charter section. It's a new charter section. It's reenact. Second. Further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry, you said it's a new. Yes, I think as part of the legislative act that has to say remove section 39 and replace with because 39 as it is now is for a two-year term okay thomas all right but it's a new charter section i just want to make sure I it's 39 it's not a new charter section it's new language for the entire charter i guess you can use the word amend i don't know what the city attorney found in there next thing is 5f this is the rule I've been thinking a lot about this, Omar. Mm -hmm. So this is my ideas here. Now, let me explain. I, I went to, I think Connie went to, did you go to that open meeting thing? That you asked? Yeah, that's what, I'm what they said, one of the things that the, the, the uh, Supreme Court ruling, uh, it's Falmouth or Barnes or whatever it was, basically said is you have to allow free speech, you have to allow criticism, you even have to allow hate speech, mm -hmm. unless it's violent. But what they said you can do to maintain civility is to put procedures in place, mm -hmm. in the rules or whatever, whatever you have, these procedures allow the chair to go back to them and to be specific about them. In other words, if we don't write them in, even though you've been following things pretty closely, like you change the rule, the time to one minute, mm -hmm. doesn't say you can't. If we put in that you can do that, nobody can question it. Mm -hmm. If you only have a minute and somebody is being pretty negative and it's only a minute. I've added the green language because I think we should be specific and I'd like to talk about it. This is in this one. This is his new language. I don't agree with the, the one on the bottom, Omar. It's too non-specific. Do what? This is your second idea here. This one. Mm -hmm. Let me make this a little bigger, maybe. Yes, please. How do I get rid of these? I wish I knew. Uh, how do I make this bigger kind? Oh, here, 725. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think part of the problem is, Thank I don't you. know why. That help? Yes, but yes, it's also but... dark. Is that that or me? I don't think it's me. Well, I think something on here got the computer's screen got it's, it's like yes, it's starting. Yeah, it's not very clear. There's 150 percent now. But that's, 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 that's right. That's right. You can see that bigger. Anyway, I don't agree with this. If you really you want see, to, this one is very uh, like is the very little specificity in it. He sent us Omar sent us two versions of the new public comments on. So this is where I'm at right now. I wanted to make it one and three minutes between one and three minutes so that you have it in writing that you can do one minute. Um, can anyone really express an important thought in one minute? I mean, I know that I'm we've done, it. we've done one minute. If you have 100 people in the room and you want to do business. The other thing I put in here, Chairman, I set a time limit for all public speak. I wrote not I, public I, hearings, I mean, but you know what I mean by that? I mean, I'm okay with the sure May set time. I don't like it. Well, we have a lot of business. Well, and I know. I, I don't, I, I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. When, when I run for office, I know that I run for office when there's no one in the public to participate, but I know that I run for office when it's 100 people that want to participate. I would take when we have made meetings for 35 minutes, but I'm willing to take meetings that it will be four hours. Um, and I, that barely happened, but when that happened, I'm not open to allow that because I think, I think it's important for most elected officials to listen to the public. And, and that's why, but that's me. We have, we have not gone through it. Right, it says May, you could, and, and it's up to, 
and that's what I said. I like May, so it's up to. I'm um, probably I will never use it. Okay. Um, I just remember wasn't there a 90 minute time frame set for what was superintendent search the other day mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, the other reason I think you should set a time limit if you have 100 people in the room is because 90 percent of the time speakers are redundant. They're saying the same thing. I support what she said. And secondly, I don't do well after three hours of a meeting when we're supposed to be making important decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's just, mm -hmm. but I hear that. The word may gives you the yeah. freedom to do it. Yeah. If you don't do it, okay. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think that like there's been, you know, I, I, I haven't presided over a lot of public hearings, but the one when I was rules chair, we did the one about the Roe Act, mm. right? And I remember finding myself feeling like I really needed to be a stickler about the time limit because I felt like... Well, the time limit per speaker or per, the time limit for the whole thing? Per speaker. Well, that's still um, three minutes or less. Yeah. Um, Oh, so we're talking about no, the, the, the like a setting the public speak time, time right. forty five minutes or one hour or instead of letting unlimited time. time unlimited time right I mean okay. I I think that there's I I don't know that about necessarily I I do think that there is a point where we as a council might need to say look, I understand that everyone's really upset about this and we can talk about it next time, but there's a thing we really need to get to tonight and this could go on all night. I do understand that there's there there, there are times for that. I think it's something that um, is regrettable and you want to avoid it, but... Well, and the other thing that, that is available to the public, if you listen for an hour, you said it's an hour, you still have a lot of people to speak, and 90% of the time they're just saying the same things over and over. I've heard all of you. You've said, you've said pretty much most of you have said similar things. Please email us the res remainder of your thoughts. But we need to move on because we also have 10 public hearings. Now, public hearings, you really can't put it. That's why I put that in. You can't put a time limit on that. It's a public hearing about the budget, about something important. Mm -hmm. Or ordinance. Yeah, this is about police speak time. Yeah, this is public comment. The thing I want to tell both of you is I really struggled with this. It really bothers me that we can't do anything about hate speech. We can only you can only gavel somebody who's threatening the counselor, but you can't gavel somebody who's making a anti Puerto Rican comment or a homophobic comment or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, that's happened in the past. And mm -hmm. Certain counselors got very upset with it, but mm -hmm. you can't do anything about it. Okay. And I looked it up today because I wanted to see if there's a definition of hate speech we could go to so you could say mm -hmm. that's hate speech. But you can't. There's nothing. So if you have a minute, you know, you can, because things are getting heated in the room, I put this language in, that you can cancel public speech because there's no law that says we have to have public comment. You can cancel it to maintain order. To calm things down. Mm -hmm. I thought that might be a good tool to have. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? Tom? What do you think? She's typing the minutes. <laughs> I am. Doing time or great. <laughs> you know, I obviously I have a hard time with hate speech. Hate speech. Well, we can't um, do anything about that. We can't. Obviously, we can't do anything about it. You know, I think part of our role is to hear the community and well, when they're fired up and they have things to say, then I think that's part of being elected that you give people the space to do those things. And I think in that process, I think there can be healing. I think it can be a cathartic moment for people to be able to say, you know what, I'm really angry and upset about this, or as opposed to stewing about it and well somebody's yelling and then somebody else in the room is yelling at them and there's a lot of this or there's no civility well, can't that give you can't do that well you can't well, well, that's but, what the, I'm... but the important thing i i do agree oh right? um and like like i said part of the democracy is if 200 people want to tell me exactly the same mm -hmm. 
for a while, tell me exactly the same. I'm okay with it. Okay. It's part of the democracy, right? And uh, if they feel, if the, if the community feel that way, that we hear them, mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. But that, again, that's me. I think that what I've seen people do in the past is be like, okay, we're allowed to say whatever you want, but just so you know, like, if you just agree with the other person you can just say you agree you don't you don't have to take the full yeah. three minutes like you can it is your right but you don't have to and we would really encourage you to, to you know i don't know well, we were talking going. about it yeah may cancel public speak to maintain order i mean when things get really out of hand the one time you gaveled somebody and the police had to quarter all the room we didn't cancel public speak well, let's say that got really heated. That wasn't during public speak. That was during a public hearing. Yeah, it was public. No, it was public speak. We didn't have the ordinance in front of us yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. It was the, but. No, that was pretty one. sure. Yeah, no, that was. Someone, one. I, was I was thinking of it. It was uh, yeah. Owen's ordinance. Yeah, Owen's year. ordinance, but we haven't said, we haven't even done that. Yeah, but we, yeah, we brought it up. We had two public hearings about it and yeah. then we sent it back. Yeah. To oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. could, yeah. So it was a you can't cancel that, but. All right, I, I don't know. Maybe we don't need this language. I just thought maybe if you had that capability. I think you can always, if people are disturbing the peace, there's a law against that. Disrupting a public meeting is a law against it. It's disrupting, but no, uh, a police speak that they can talk. No, I don't talk about talk, disrupting. Yeah, that's, and yelling and screaming. That's and, different. But we don't need it in the rules. No, we don't need it in the rules. Because so that, I'll just get that, that different. Yeah. I do think. And I'm just you dropping in I'm, on a lot of this. Remaining, well, we just started this time. Yeah, I I think that there might be. I, I'm just I'm just throwing this out in a big way. There might be some value in having in the rules some clarity about what people's options are, because I'm more likely to check the rules than to check mass general law, because they're it's just mm. you know it like. But that would be a different rule because this is just for public public comment. You're talking about if someone in the middle of the meeting start talking or start in, screaming in the middle. So that 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 that's is disturbing a public yeah, meeting. and that yeah. is that is another yeah. We're just trying because to this is about public comment. That's it. Sure. I mean maybe we can add that to public comment or or maybe but, add in know. a new rule about yeah, well, I don't think you need a rule. Well, you're the president. If well, I know, but I hear any point. Yeah. But if somebody's disturbing a meeting, you could gavel them out yeah. at any time. Whether it's a public hearing or public comment, if they're really disturbing a meeting, screaming over somebody, like you had to gavel that woman out of the room. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But you have the right to do that now. You don't need a rule. I, no. Now, I decided to remove approximately three minutes here because we're putting this in. And between one to three minutes is okay. I'm, yeah. I'm not okay All remarks that. during this period should be made to the council of the whole, not to an individual member. I think you should still say that. We don't have to tell them they have the right. This is from the original language. Because the original. No. no, you can't. That came from the lawyer. They can do it to the, the individual. You didn't eliminate it in your, you know, this is your you, language. Yeah, you, know, you can do it to the individual, individual of the members. I'm not saying that they can't do it. I'm saying you're going to say, please address your comments to the full council. I will say that. Yeah. yeah. And not to an individual member. So somebody comes up and says, Dan Rist, I, I want to tell you you're wrong, et cetera, et cetera. You're an idiot. You can't gavel them quiet. Do yeah, we, but it, by rules, if by rules if you if you read it like that like this way mm -hmm. now you can go put point of order by the rules all right so get rid of this stuff yeah all right i mean when i say you is don't be console of peak i'm just just for the public you know no but that's a good point i, I, I guess just, i don't forget that it's recording okay right comics made to a specific member Wait, so I'm not, I'm, I think I'm a little lost here. Yeah, I'm confused. So are we saying no, that- Let's go back. If, if I'm a if member of the, the public, public like, and I want to come and you, talk about how much I think that President Gomez sucks, yeah. right? Wow. And I want to just really unload about that. And you can just look at me. I can, but can I say, hey, I am I have to say I'm really disappointed. No, you can say, hey, Consul Gomez, I'm just talking to you. That by rules, they'll not be allowed. But is the lawyer now saying that 
that yeah, speech so says you have speech, to allow it, so we can't have a rule. So we have to cut it. We have to cut it. That's what I just Okay. Did. But comments made to a specific member of the speech should be allowed unless this constitutes a threat to commit a crime. Yeah. I put that, that was something you had in there as your check. I like it. Well, whatever you want. Well, let me say this. The reason we do rules is mm -hmm. for any president and any chair of any yeah. committee mm -hmm. to have guidance. Of course. Yeah. So if someone is in a finance meeting and is saying, you know, really threatening uh, the mayor, mm -hmm. I can say, you know, you have to shut up. Yeah. I'm calling the police. Mm -hmm. I can shut them up because they're threatening the mayor. Mm -hmm. Whatever they want to say. Mm -hmm. But in this case, if we put it in the rules, I think I have stilted language here. Mm -hmm. sure the is. speech should be allowed unless it constitutes, oh, this is your language, unless it constitutes a threat to commit a crime. I guess that's okay. A slander, et cetera, is not enough. I don't think you have to put that in the rule, oh, you know. but you know that it, yeah. if somebody is slandering you, you have to allow it because it's free speech. Yep. Come unless it's, you know, mm -hmm. unless it can be proven to be detrimental to your business, like certain things that just happen. Free. You can do it. I did cut. I didn't want to cut this line in order to avoid possible violation of being laws. I think you should keep that. Why did you want to remove it? Because there, everything there that I removed is came from the city solicitor. No, you said consider. You didn't remove it. I removed dialogue regarding information on local events. I removed. Oh, that. okay. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Let me see. We added there. that. This language here, in order to avoid possible violations of local meeting laws. Council shall not engage in dialogue regarding remarks of made of Oh, I'm, I think that's I, I, I'm going to tell you why I remove it. Thinking about future councils, they take probably speak time to to find a way to engage with the uh, probably speak time and start going back and forward with it. Well, why are we leave? Why don't we so have that, to leave? That's why. We have to leave it. Just leave it as I'm okay. Okay, but you said remove it. I was I'm confused. Yes, I, I wanted to remove it to avoid that, but but I'm okay with it. No, I think it's important because you say that all the time when someone says we can't answer your question yeah. because it's a violation of open meeting. Yeah. And the rules too. Yeah. That's fine. So that's basically it. There's not a lot of changes. Uh any other thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think, Colin? This is what no, we're I doing. What I have here is what we're going to end up doing right here. I'll just rewrite it. Unless you guys want to have another meeting to confirm it. Our remarks on this picture to mention the council as a whole, period. We don't say anything about individuals. Somebody's want to, I know somebody's going to want to say, what about hate speech when we debate this? In the council. Yeah, they'll say it. Have to say, look, I looked it up. I looked it up today in the Attorney General's office. I said, yeah, you can't do anything about it. I'm okay with it. Good. Threat to commit a crime. Okay, okay. we're good on it. Mm -hmm. Should I put it forward tomorrow? Um, okay, we're here tomorrow. I'll put it forward for the yeah. next for the next package. Yeah, but tomorrow you will say for this you don't have to set it for the game. It's just right. I'm just gonna say what you rule. It'll be in the next package. Next package. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. I move that we accept well, rule what by yeah, because you want to give an opportunity to, to the console to review it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, not can, gonna, we we're not gonna bring it forward tomorrow. Okay. okay. I don't think that's fair. May 17 will It'd be, less, it'd be less than 24 hours. Yeah, no, Mason can do it. I move that we accept Rule 5F as amended. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye, aye. Okay. Finish this out. Thanks. Somebody has something else. Now, when we did this before, just so we're on the same page, Mayor Compensation 3-1, we decided, I had written up 
language on the charter to pretty much codify what we did incremental salary increases and Barbara made the great point it's an ordinance mm -hmm. and the lawyer already approved it so we decided to make no changes to 3-1 I'm just reviewing that because I'm going to bring that up when we have the public hearing okay does that need to be in the minutes what you just said no I would Ooh, okay. because I'm reviewing we were originally given that as something to do okay mm -hmm. All right. Move we adjourn. You want to stay on with me? Second. Uh, I'm going to remove my motion. Mr. President, we have to do the anti Semitic resolution in rules. I was just curious. Why. You want to send it because, or oh, Council Sarek, want to send it to rules? He don't want us to vote tomorrow. In your mind, does it need a long meeting? No. Then I might propose with our counselors to meet right before meeting. Okay. For approval. I mean, do you think it, I'll read it over again, but it seems pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can we have a meeting like right before meeting? Mm -hmm. like, the May 17th, like that? I might do that. Can you do that? Five thirty. Yeah. Meet right in chambers. Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with just reading them. Now I'll ask all. Do you really want to discuss this? Because we don't. I just want well, to. He, he, I I call him. He wants to discuss it. Yeah, I call him. So I should have a longer meeting because he wants to bring it up. I don't know. I will say like fifteen minutes will be enough, but it's up to you. Well, I'll talk to him tomorrow night okay. if I can. But he's. I talk to him. And he's all right. Okay. Good enough. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Turning off all recording. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.